Good morning, folks. We have a stirring giant 93 million miles away. It's a slow rise rather than an up and atom. The primary feature visible from Earth's vantage point was the snap and release of a small filament on the northern hemisphere just to the south of the large coronal hole. It was already departing, and this event will not produce geoeffective space weather. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we see a slow trend up in solar flaring. Even without big events yet, we can see a better sunspot situation for flares. The leading group is gamma class with scattered magnetism, but no delta class interaction at this time. This grouping was born just three days ago, and now has grown and spread to gain some modest flare potential today. But that's not all. Also on the south, but on the eastern limb, we have new spots coming in. The magnetism appears to have some complexity, but it will take another day to fully analyze it. This will be another flare candidate. After Andromeda screamed on September 10th, we had Taurus give us our second gamma burst in two days. The solar wind speed is dropping in yellow, and with it, the geomagnetic disruptions are calming down from strong levels yesterday. Since the magnetic storms are ending, and hopefully you recall yesterday's identification of the powerful trailing bulb of the coronal hole, we are looking at an uptick in seismicity coming as early as tonight, but really rising into early next week. Top article of the day details a new look at Mars from the South Pole up through lower latitudes. The elevation map may be prettiest, but the detail you can see from the basin down through the cratered highlands to the South Pole in true color is definitely worth a closer look. Kilo ran north quickly while another system fades west of Hawaii, but I am watching the convergence line heading towards the west coast and thinking it's time to introduce the Atmospheric River Watch website. For those who know what arc storms are, that's what they're tracking here. Linda, dwindling near the Mexican coastline while up in the United States, we are seeing a brutal reminder of the other side of climate change, coldest days since the spring. In Europe, we see the low pressure nodes coming down to Ireland and the UK for the top alerts in this region. It will be another calmer day down under with just a few areas of moderate rain in the forecast. Folks, it is Saturday, so the featured content today is Fly on the Wall. Another podcast is on deck in just a few hours. We'll be discussing the latest Sun and Earth news, and as we often do, discuss the topics in our community that do not make the morning news. Also, folks, 35 days to observing the frontier. The first conference for the suspicious observers is in Pittsburgh, October 17th and 18th. Tickets for that and our January event in Phoenix can be found at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.